Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn about the Angular routing. So in this video, I'm just going to make a new project, then we will learn about the routing. Reason behind that is when we are just installing the Angular project, then we have to choose the option regarding to the Angular routing, right? That's why I need to make a new project. So these are the steps of the video. First of all, we have to make a new project then we have to add at least two components and after that we have to just write some code modification in the app hyphen routing hyphen module file and then we will write some code in the html file also and we will test the routing all right so everything is easy so now let's open the command line and uh, just go to the folder where you just want to install your project so i am just going on a dashboard then just go for the angular 10 and here you will find that okay so i have to put here cd and we have uh, only one folder with the name of blog so let's make a new folder ng new uh, routing demo routing demo right so when you just hit it uh, first of all before just starting the installation it will just ask the first question about routing that right? you just want to install the angular routing or not right and here we must have to choose yes so here we will go for yes that's why i'm just going to putting the y here and now it will just ask some question regarding uh, css style and all so we can just ignore or you can just go for uh, just enter right and uh, maybe you have a question here and if you select the no in case of routing then how you can add the routing in the middle of your project for that you just need to run this command and this command is also uh, provided in the description box if you just need this command then you can just go for there right so here just uh, you can see that we have to generate the module which is the app routing and uh, this is account kind of module that's why we just put here hyphen hyphen module equal to app right so now you can see that this is just going to install the angular packages so if you just want to see it inside the folder then here you can see that it will just uh, make the old folders but uh, now it will just installing the packages which uh, is required for angular project right so we can just wait for a moment or you can uh, just open the another terminal and just simply go inside cd routing demo and just write here code dot and with the code dot you will able to open your project inside the visual studio code and let's check it out yep here you can see that we have a lot of file but if you just want to see the routing file then uh, you can just go to the src folder then app and here you will find the app hyphen routing dot module dot ts file right so we will write some code here but before that we have to create the two components also and the angular should be installed properly so it will just taking some time so let's wait for a moment so angular is installed now so let's go inside this folder routing demo and just run here and ng serve right and this command will make the bundle of your uh, complete angular project and able to run make it able to run on browser right so now we can do that one more thing during this uh, so now let's go for the main file app.component.ts and here you will know that uh, here know that there is a lots of code so we can just remove this whole code and just write here some h1 tag and uh, like uh, routing tutorial and all right so here we will make the two routings uh, just see that this is uh, just making bundling and it will just take some time so I'm just going to pause the video so that we can see the time so this is uh, ready so we can just write here localhost 4200 and you can see that we are able to run our project on a local host right so now let's just go to the app.routing.ts and before that we have to just create the two component also so let's create the two component with the ng g4 generate c4 component and just write here user this is our first component and uh, now we will create one more component 
so with the same command let's create one more like admin or whatever you want and now you will see that we have the two folder and two files two folder and these are the component folders right so now let's import both of them in the routing file just write it import something from uh, admin and admin module right and just write here admin component and now let's write here import something from and user user component and uh, just write here user component right and I don't need this one now inside the route array just uh, define the two object for one uh, they both are for the routing path so just uh, define your path property and here we will put the path for every component let's say user this is my path and what component I just want to load on this path so I just want to load on component which is the uh, user component right and in a similar way we can or uh, add one more path path admin and on admin path what component we want to upload we want to upload admin component right that's great so now just go to the app dot component dot route and just make a two route here so just put here a tag and ref and then we can just write here like user right and uh, let's make a br tag so that we can just maintain some space and put here admin and now you will see that two links are ready but in the angular we have to have a little bit different approach to use the hrf so just write here router link and here just provide the route our route is user and this router link should be equal to your this user right and uh, as you know we have to make the another one also so just write here router link and just define here admin right and now when we click on this one the admin component will be open and on the on the user click the user component will be open right you can see that but before that we have to just add the last last thing which is uh, uh, router no, my bad router outlet right like this and just close it now you are able to see why we use the uh, router outlet when we will click on any user let's say we click on the users link then user component will be opened inside this tag right I just click on a user here you can see that the user works admin admin works right so if you just want to make some changes here then this is also great admin component uh, what's so wrong with that yeah and with the similar way you can just go with the users component and just write here users component and now you will find here admin component and user component so that's all about how we can add the routing so if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and please share this video